Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today we're gonna do an upcycle DIY denim shorts. <laughs> Insert clapping here. So I went to my Goodwill, actually I went to Volunteers of America and I got these jeans. These are Levi's in good shape. There was no wear and tear in the crotch area. Um, so I'm assuming these were never worn and if they were maybe once or twice, it doesn't matter. Um, they were $2.99. Oh, sorry, the lighting is a little funky today. So I bought them and I brought them home. Now they're long, which is fine. They fit me, but what I really want is denim shorts. So we're gonna do that today. First, we've got the coffee. This is the creme brulee. Oh, I love it in my black cat mug because, you know, I've got black caps. Mm, so good. So the materials you're going to need, the pair of pants or shorts or, je or jeans, you're going to, I don't know what's happening. You're going to upcycle a pair of shorts that you like the length of. So I like the length of these shorts. Um, so we're going to measure so we can know how long to cut the other pair. So a pair of shorts you like the length of. Um, I've got a large ruler, but any ruler will work. Something to mark them with, a pen, a pencil. These are sewing. Uh, this one is water soluble. I think so is this one. It could be heat. I don't know. But I've got two here. And then fabric scissors or a rotary cutter, which is what I'm choosing to use. But something that has a very sharp blade, which I need to get these sharpened or get my sharpener up here, but they're fine. Okay, so those are your main materials. There's a couple things you need to know. Jeans typically are tapered. So when you sew them, you may see here, there's the front is shorter than the back. So when you're sewing them, you just wanna make sure you line up your seams. And if they're not lined up, I generally hide the piece that's gonna be off a little bit in the seam allowance. You could take out the seams, I'm not gonna get that fussy. But so your front panel, is typically gonna be more narrow than your back, depending on the jeans. These are stretchy, um, so you might wanna use like a zigzag stitch to hem them or not. I mean, it doesn't, it's up to you. I mean, this is definitely a, a straight stitch, um, but it's like elastic thread, I think. But that's okay, it doesn't matter unless it's gonna have a lot of stretch to it, then you're definitely, you know, if you think it's gonna be tight on your thighs. These are not gonna be tight on my thighs, so I'm just gonna use my regular stitch, but I'm gonna do it a little looser. Um, and then you wanna make sure, like I said, you clean them. You could iron them, I'm not gonna do that. So I have that. And then you'll have these pants here. You need to determine, do you like the length of the short? If you do, you're gonna measure from this crotch seam down. And I will do that up here for us. So here's the crotch seam. These are a nine inch inseam. Now I've already measured, so I know that. They're nine inch. If I wanted to have these shorts that I'm cutting and sewing be nine inches, then I would cut them at 10 inches to give myself a half an inch or an inch because you're gonna roll your fold. I'm not talking roll like this. I don't have a serger, this was serge. So I'm going to roll it under an inch, half and half, and then I'm going to stitch it and it's going to encase my seams inside the fold so they don't fray. Unless you want them frayed. If you want them frayed, all you have to do is do one tight stitch around above the fray and throw them in the washer. I do that just so it doesn't fray all the way up, but it probably wouldn't anyway. But that's the only reason I need these shorts is to measure the inseam. So I know I want that length, sort of. I'm actually gonna cut at nine inches and sew to make them eight inches long just because I want them just a tad bit shorter. So let us change our angle and I will show you how I measure and how I cut because it's a little, it's not complicated but you don't wanna just cut straight across because you'll end up with like um, mullet shorts. They'll be shorter on the inside or the outside because you're not, I'll show you. We don't want mullet shorts. So hang on one second. Okay, so I have my pants laid out here, and as you're gonna see, it's not flat. Your crotch is gonna be like pokey. They kind of go out this way. So what you want is you want your leg 
straight to you. Get that other leg out of the way. We're not dealing with the other leg right now. This is straight. Your side seam is coming straight and this crotch is coming down straight at you, but you're at a nice angle here, right? That's what's important. And you just wanna make sure there's no wrinkles. That's why you had said you could iron. I'm not going to. And then you determine how short or long you want them. So I'm gonna start here at the crotch. And all that's important is that both legs are the same length. So we determine, remember, I'm gonna to go to the nine inch mark. For right now, all I'm doing is marking it. That's nine inches right there, right? Now we wanna go this way. So I wanna make sure that we're straight. It's still a little bit of eyeballing involved but as long as your leg is straight and your ruler is straight and you want to eye, eye them. So I'm lining them up this way. Remember, straight this way. And then I'm going to draw my line. Okay, that's our straight line. Now what I want to do is the same thing to the other leg. There we go. Okay. So I have my nine inch. When I cut it and I roll it, I'll end up at about eight. Oops. Well, seven because I tucked it too much, but you see what I'm saying? Now, the next step, fold it in half and you want everybody lined up nice and even because we're gonna do one cut. But if you look, my lines are good. You make sure your bottoms are lined up. It's all about this cut, basically, that's going to make sure your shorts are even. And if they're just a little off, it's okay. You know, we're not symmetrical people. But we're going to try for our best here. And then we're going to lay out our ruler. Everybody's good. Our feet, our legs. We'll use this fabric for something else, too. Who knows? But we will. And... I'm going to use my rotary cutter because I have one. If you don't have one, use your scissors. Oops, I'm going to make sure it's tight. You get one shot at this, guys. Well, I mean, you can have more than one shot, but you're going to end up just making your shorts shorter, which is okay. I mean, this is for me, this is a Bermuda length. Hello, thank you. So I have all that fabric to do something with. Who knows? We'll do some kind of project. And I'm done now, for right now, with the ruler. Now, they're straight. Ooh, now they're straight. Here's the thing. If you didn't want to, if you wanted these frayed or distressed in some way, you can just leave it like this. Don't do the wash a couple times. You'll get distressed. I'm going to try them on after I pin them, but before I sew them, just to make sure I like the length. And everything is good but I know I've measured these my legs my crotch is good so now we're gonna move on to step two so give me one second alrighty friends I did the first leg already because I want to make sure and I've tried them on and it's the right length so what we're gonna do now is this top leg is ready everything is laid out smooth again maybe you just gotta make it as smooth as you can but if you have big wrinkles up top here, it's gonna affect the down here. Okay, so I need to roll. And I have, these are quilt clips, I think they're called magic clips. And I have needles. We're gonna use a little bit of both. But first things first, the clip. So I'm gonna come up here and fold it. Now these are considered a legging, so they are a little more stretchy than a regular jean, I think would be. Oh, look at that. So I now know that my top and bottoms are even, right? My legs are good. These are gonna be the right length on both legs, which you kind of really want. So I have that here, but what we're gonna do then is tuck that in. You see how I said we're gonna sew the top, we're gonna tuck it in so that the seam gets eaten. Basically, it gets buried. Now, I don't know if this is the right. I definitely want it to be like 
this fold at about three quarters of an inch and we are there and then I'm just gonna come down here and do the same thing right I'm gonna take these clips or a pin a pin works as well so I could say well let's take a pin this time make sure Now, if you wanted these to be rolled jeans, you would just do them a little longer. That's all. But I've got those three clipped. Let us do this first, make sure. Okay, so you're still there, that's good. And you're just turning and pinning. In this situation, you really want a lot of pins and, and um, pins or clips. Even though this is the inside, that's okay, but we really want to just make sure everybody is right where they need to be, and we'll check them out again before I sew. Sewing will be the last thing you do. You are always wanting to make sure that everything is right, because once you sew it, it's kind of a pain to undo it. There we go. Now, here in this one, this is thick. So you're definitely going to want to clip if you could, if you have them in that there. But look at, I lined right up, which is perfect. Yay me. And this is not my favorite task. I'm not going to lie. I hate, I hate hemming pants. But I really, ouch. And I don't like grabbing pins. I hate grabbing, I hate hemming pants because this is stressful, but... I couldn't find a pair of Bermuda shorts that I wanted in the right length. I have short legs, guys. Typically, I have to go with a, pe a petite plus, ow, a petite plus, if you will. That hurt. And that's not easy to find. So, I found a pair of jeans I liked, even though they were too long. I didn't care because, why? I am coming up. And I'm also getting Levi's for $3 in shorts form. You hear the grumbling out there? It's getting ready to storm. There. So, what we're going to do, we have it pinned all the way around. And now we're going to see if they line up how they're supposed to. I do, what I do is I take my outside seam, right? Line them up because that's a straight seam. The inside seam is going to have more, especially in a plus size, it's, gonna, it's not straight. The outside seam is typically going to be your straighter seam in this situation. And then we're going to come in here to the middle and lay them out. And look what we have. Everybody is about the same length. I say about. There may be an eighth of an inch off. I mean, it might be. Maybe. But I'm going to say that's a good to go. So the next step, oh, oh maybe, let's see. Oh, that's this one. Yeah, they're the same too. Um, next step is to get the sewing machine out and we're gonna sew around. So let me get that out and move in here. Hi, this is the best I'm gonna be able to get you close wise to see. But I have black thread, just what I had. I set my stitch length to about four and a half, which I usually use it on like three, but I want it to have a little give to it. And we're gonna go around twice. Um, I'm gonna pull off this on my sewing machine, this arm. And it just gives me a little better place to work with. Now, just remember this is denim. So it's gonna be a little harder to sew through I've got my containers over here for my needles and my clips. I'm going to slide this in. Now, this is definitely not a project for jeans that I would say you could do if you didn't have um, a sewing machine. Um, maybe on like chinos or khakis of some sort, you could get away with... Um, uh, the iron-on fusible stuff, but definitely not for jeans. Now, we've got a, the first out the gate. Let me move this back. 
going to start a little behind here because I want to lock my stitches. And I am attempting to sew pretty close to the fold. I mean, you're going to only be able to see it a little bit. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is go over that bump. Right? And as I'm sewing, I'm going to kind of straighten everybody out here and make sure my seams are down till I get to the next whatever it is I'm using to hold these down. Right? And then I'm just going to sew all the way around and then I'll show you when I'm done. All right, we got it around one time, which is, was our goal, right? So if you wanted to leave it like that, you totally could. I'm going to go around the bottom here uh, just for some stability, and I like the look better. So again, we're not going to start on a seam. This time I'll start a little in front of the seam, and we're going to go and lock it in. That side is done. And if you want to put holes in this, you can distress them all you like. I'm not going to distress. I probably will iron them because you see it's a little fluty looking. What I need to do is just iron them back into place, which I'll do in a minute. But first, we're going to switch legs and do the same process. All done. How exciting is that? Now what I need to do is I'm just going to throw a quick iron on them. I'm actually wearing them out this evening since I did wash them already. They're perfectly ready to go. So there we have it. How exciting. I'm excited. I don't know about y'all, but I'm getting all these little threads off that might itch my legs. And there we have it. Have a couple, couple loose threads. There we go. They're done. I will show you when I put them on. Here's the shorts I made. Nice close-up look. They're a little loose in the leg, but that's why they wouldn't have worked for a long pant on me. They're even. The hems look good. They fit in the back. Yeah, so that is them. That is them. These are those. That is them. This is them. This is life. This is Wellington. <laughs> Sorry, Bops. So these are the shorts I created out of a $2.99 pair of Levi's from the thrift store. So I hope you enjoyed. Bye.